Hello guys, thank you for taking your time and watching my channel. This is going to be a series on a few different firearms and firearm accessories. Today I will be going over a Wolf Road Green Laser Bore Sight. There are several types of bore sight lasers available, but most of them are produced from the same few manufacturers. I like this kind because it's actually longer and it does fit more securely inside your barrel. It can be used on both rifles and pistols. Some bore sighters have plastic adapters. This one happens to have rubber. You select the proper caliber adapter for your type of rifle or handgun. It works by inserting it into the barrel and tightening it inside the barrel. It will expand and give you a nice tight fit. It will not harm your barrel in any way. One of the advantages to this type of bore sight instrument is that you do not have to remove a compensator, a flash hider. This model comes with a CR2 3 volt lithium battery. Insert the battery into the sleeve. There are four alignment set screws that are glued in place from the factory. Do not adjust these. If you do have a problem with your laser, return it. I see a lot of videos online saying this and that is junk and you know what, give it a chance. It's a great price for this unit. I've had a lot of success with it and I hope you will too. After you've selected the appropriate caliber adapter, attach it to the tapered end of the bore cider. Screw it in, but do not make it snug. In fact, you want it a little loose so that it slides in the barrel easily. Slide it into the muzzle. Once inside the barrel, tighten it. Don't crank down on it, just make it snug. You should make sure that the bore cider is straight. I like to keep the words up. You want to make sure that it's flat and all the way inserted against the muzzle until it stops. And so there's no wobble. If you have wobble, it's improperly inserted. Loosen it, pull it out, and try it again. It's important that it's actually seated completely into the muzzle until it stops. Now it's time to turn the laser on. On this particular one, you rotate the cylinder one way or the other in order to turn it on. There's a small groove that gives you a little click when it's in the proper position. This is the laser through this particular optic. The sight marks on this optic were a little bit different than normal. Here's a picture of the common ones. I use the opposite color. Green laser like this one, use a red sight mark. We're gonna use the example of 25 feet. So at 25 feet from target, this is what you should see through your optic. Notice that the sight marker is slightly to the right and now your laser's pointed at center. So you want to move your sight mark down in the center and over to the left. You should hear a series of clicks or depending on what type of optic you have.
my first shot would be, say here. Do a series of a few shots so that you know that it's pretty much on site and it wasn't some fluke. Obviously I have to move over farther. So I moved again and readjusted and this was the outcome. Now at 15 feet, you're gonna have a little bit of a different result. That's just physics. So what you do is you compensate between the two. Keep in mind that this is not your final adjustment. You do that at the range. This is only to get you close. Loosen it, loosen it, loosen it, and then eventually it will slide out. I would like to give a shout out to my friends at TejasProducts.com. They have a wide variety of personalized and also off the shelf items to enhance your firearms. Their products are available both through the TejasProducts.com website, Amazon, and eBay. I want to thank you guys once again for watching. Please stay tuned for upcoming other videos. And remember to always keep the Lord first and keep praying for our country, our president, and all we have going on. Be good to one another. And see you soon.